What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle and today we're doing a real quick review of the Rhodes, Rosewell RHTS 11004 headset. And since we don't do unboxings, let's go right into the headset itself. First things first, let's go a little bit over the specs. It's a 3.5 millimeter connector. Uh, it's a circular uh, ear coupling. It's got a 40 millimeter driver. Uh, it's uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz uh, frequency response. Uh, the sensitivity is at 118 decibels plus or minus three decibels. The cord length, uh, which we'll go into on the actual cord itself, but the cord length is about five feet, it's 1.5 meters, and the weight is just under a pound. And the headset is basically, well, let's go, let's go straight into the construction of the headset. So overall, the headset actually feels very, very flimsy. It's uh, it's it's light, but the actual construction of it is just bad. Um, honestly, there's no other way to put it. Uh, you know, at the top you do have some padding, but it's very very stiff stiff padding. The actual um, extension here to extend for uh, your you know size of your head, um, the side extenders, they're very cheap. Uh, you know, it's just a uh, some aluminum that's used that uh, slides back and forth in this plastic uh, holder and it's just everything just feels very cheap very loose um, overall it's just it feels like it can break at any time now the actual ear coupling uh, they are they claim that they're a soft uh, material um, but they're really not it, it, it's actually very very hard they uh, they don't have much comfort at all. It, you really have to push on them, so they're not really as soft as they claim on their uh, advertising in their box. Um, it is a. It feels like a leather. You know, it's most likely a fake leather, but um, it, it's not soft at all. So that's. I know. Honestly, the construction is very disappointing. But once I tell you the, you know, what we got them for, you know, you'll understand why they they are so cheap. And because of the foam not being soft and it is actually harder, uh, when it sits on your ear, it within about an hour you'll start noticing in a pretty extreme discomfort and you will have to take them off because uh, it's just sitting on the ear too much. It's not over the ear, it's definitely uh, uh, on the ear headphone. So going from the actual construction, uh, going into the actual sound, uh, the sounds actually not bad the bass is clear it's not uh, it's not too heavy it doesn't drown out all the other sounds uh, but it's not too low to the point where you can barely notice that there's any bass coming from uh, you know a song or something that you might be watching that uh, the bass would improve the sound on um, it's just it, I, in my opinion it just feels like it's just kind of the right amount um, the treble and all that is very very clear it does um, you know you're able to hear everything clearly all the instruments uh, if you're listening to a lot of music I listen to like house or trance music and uh, honestly everything is just very very clear so the actual sound quality of these is not bad now I wouldn't compare these to uh, any hundred dollar headset like audio technicas or anything like that definitely not this is definitely a cheap set uh, but overall for the price of these the, the actual sound itself is really good um, now the next thing I'd like to go in is the actual cord the cord itself is a detachable cord uh, so that means if you're worried when you're carrying them around that you don't want the cord getting bent or anything like that you can disconnect it from the headset and uh, port, you know take it around when you're ready to use it plug it back into the headset and you're good to go there's no anything that you know permanently connects it in there is just a uh, plug in and and just take it back out uh, which is nice the cord itself like I said it is about five feet long uh, which it's is not a uh, specific or any kind of special cord it's just a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio cord so you can use any one that you will have so if you have a braided one or a thicker one that you uh, prefer uh, you can definitely use that plus a longer one so you can exchange uh, swap this out with any with any other 3.5 millimeter cord so that's really nice feature I do like that but that's honestly the and the, the quality of the sound like I said is good uh, but that's really the only thing everything else like I said the headset itself feels cheap and it's 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 just really 
it, they have kind of like a retro look, but that being said, the actual construction of it is just very, very cheap, like I said earlier. And um, basically, that's it. It's just a real quick review of the headset. There's really nothing much else I can go with. I can't show you the sound, obviously, because that would be impossible unless you're here. But the price of these, I got them for $8 on Newegg Flash. Uh, currently, they are now again on Newegg Flash for $12. I believe the regular price on these is $20 from Rosewell. They're not a $20 headset. In my opinion, this is maybe a $5 headset. For $5, if you need just a cheap headset to kind of hold you over for now, you can definitely pick these up. And that's our quick review of the Rosewell headset. Make sure to like, subscribe for more videos. We will be, of course, bringing out more tech videos here. And make sure to visit t3gtech.com uh, for more tech news. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.